And Blythe, a terrific center, is going up against Darius Latham, I think one of the more athletic guys in the conference with a big body in the middle. Go with three wides here. Wadley on the delay across midfield. There's nobody home. Wadley, 65 yards and a touchdown. From the 31, Wadley is the tailback as they go in a three wide receiver set. Little look at Wadley and then the throw to Tavon Smith. And Tavon Smith, who gives them some speed on the outside, gets it down to the 45 yard line. Now we could all use that. Fake to Wadley. Bethard has just been on target, hits Hillier again. And Hillier fighting for extra yards inside the 15 to the 13. And Bethard, Mike, six out of seven for 90 yards so far. And, Third and very short. Daniels to the outside, walks in. Touchdown, LaShawn Daniels, his second rushing touchdown of the season. Coming into this game, but he averaged almost 27 yards a catch. Wadley off the left side. What a cut. First time in this drive, Iowa has faced third down. A little bit of pressure coming. Bethard hesitates, resets, and completes to Hillier. And it will be first and goal. Hawkeyes. Bethard quarterback draw. Still on his feet. Dives. Touchdown. What a play by C.J. Bethard. Boy, he's gingerly walking. Boy, look at him dragging that right leg yeah. as he's walking. They called it. It's a, uh, you know, I mentioned it's something you'd want to have here, but let's see if that ball, boy, I don't think he scored. Now, this has to be indisputable video evidence that that ball did not cross the goal line, and, and you can't not. tell. I, I, I don't, I think he missed by an inch or maybe two inches, but because it is not indisputable and you can see how he lands so awkwardly and as he was walking off, he did not look good. And to further review, the ruling on the field stands, touchdown. Sort of feel bad for the Indiana players. Sudfeld. Trying to buy time. Throws for the corner in the end zone, incomplete. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> and this is where Bethard is going to, he sits in the pocket. So this is a place where if you're Brian Knorr, you could consider a blitz here, even if it comes late, just to try to get Bethard out of rhythm. Mitchell is his back who goes out in the pattern. Now Bethard being chased. Tough situation for him to be in, throws underneath, and has the first down. What a throw by Bethard. To Vandenberg, running left, throw sidearm back to the right. He sure can put it on the money. Bethard, perfect strike to Vandenberg, and Vandenberg inside the five, first and goal, Hawkeyes. First things first. <laughs> Daniels. There it is. There's the first thing. Nice block by Pleva, his fullback. 244 pounds, number 42 led the way in there. Sudfeld's numbers are way down today. One of the reasons he's had five drops. And this is that walk around defensive line for Iowa, not showing where they're coming from. Now they come with the blitz. And they got there. Sudfeld taken down by Neiman. And they come with it. Bethard hangs in the pocket. Over the middle and enough for a first down. What a catch by Krager Coble. Uh, Craig, uh, Krager Coble, the best hands on the team, a very good catcher of the ball, but Iowa has made the plays in the past game today. Indiana has not. Got the first down by the length of the football. Now they'll go back to the ground game, eat up some runs, eat up some time with LaShawn Daniels, who will not go down. Dragging a, dragging a tackler with him. You know, for Kevin Wilson and his his crew, just the, the middle of this schedule, 
Ohio State, Michigan State, Iowa, Michigan in a five-game stretch. The gauntlet. Yeah, it almost feels a little unfair to a program being rebuilt. Blitz coming. Bethard beats it. The pass to Vanderberg, and he's to the 11. First down, Hawkeyes. So not just a gimme here for Iowa to get up two scores. Bethard. Out in the flat to Kittle, the tight end. Beautifully executed. Kittle only with seven catches all year coming into this ball game. They just run him out in the flat for his second catch of the day, and Bethard hits him in stride. Four-man rush. Wow. Sudfeld to the sideline. Did he get a foot down? It is an interception. That is the eighth interception of the year for Desmond King. And that ties the all-time record, including from Niall Kinnick, the legend, in 1939. It's easy to say that, oh, they're, you know, this is an old-school offense, but they, they can play with folks. They've got to snap it one more time, and that's it. Bethard takes a knee. The clock will expire on Indiana's dreams of an upset again. They faced three undefeated teams, played them until the very last, but lost to all three. Moral victories are very hollow. Courageous performance by C.J. Beth. Yes. When he, when he got hurt at the end of that uh, end of the first half, when he did the the Superman into the end zone, he did not look like he was very comfortable. And and good for uh, Indiana fans for Jordan Howard. He's back. He's healthy. Big part of today's game. And he is something else. Let's go to Jerry Pond. Coach, time and again, your battered quarterback, C.J. Beathard, found a way to make a play. How would you describe his performance tonight? Well, he made some real big third down throws in the second half and made some plays with his feet. Kind of surprised us all on that one. This time of year, not only important to win, but maybe to impress the committee. Why should they be impressed with your Hawkeyes tonight? Yeah, we're not worried about a committee. We're just worried, worried about winning the next game. Today was Indiana. We knew this was going to be a really tough ball game. Just happy to get a good conference win in November. We got uh, three to go. We'll enjoy this one for about 24 hours. Hey, Coach, congratulations. Go celebrate. Thanks, Jared. Thank you.